Hey, I'm Brandon Cabina, and I'm here with Hector Benitez, and, and this, this is the holiday, holiday edition of the Woods Wrap Up. Hey, Hector, I'm starving like Marvin. Let's give him something to taco about. Brandon, are you assuming I'm Mexican? <sighs> Hector Benitez, I'm sorry. You're definitely Asian. Ha, huh. dude, you're so right. All right, well, let's jump right into what food people would like on our school menu. Is the school food good? Some say yes, others say not so much. Hear what some of those people's opinions are on what we should be fed at school. Uh, it's a hard one. Maybe uh, the sweet potato fries can go away and we just get to drop in like, you know, Whataburger fries or something. That would be really nice. While some would like more fast food options, others are looking for a healthier choice. Better breakfast items because everything they serve is really greasy and it gives me acid reflux and heartburn every morning. Some would like to see the return of items from their youth. In elementary school they had like these fudge bars and I really want those back. They don't have enough desserts. Some want new sides, some want more entrees, and some want more desserts. Only one thing's for sure though, what the school's been serving isn't cutting it for these students. This is Brandon Cabino with C-Dub Media. Did you ever think about that, Hector? Well, Brandon, those are some really excellent choices. Alright, Hector, quit it with the stupid puns already. Let's get back to work. Um, Brandon, I have a job unlike you. I work at Chick-fil-A, and I don't think I want to eat that all the time. Maybe I just want to go somewhere else. Speaking about eating in other places, let's hear what Cisco found out on student opinions about the open lunch concept. There are two sides on open lunch concept. Some people want to go out and buy food on their own with their cars, and some want to stay here and eat the food in the cafeteria. I think if you have transportation and money, it, um, it should be allowed. You should also be allowed to get food you know, brought to the school. Because of school policy, many students take the risk on leaving school grounds. We all don't exactly like it. We all like to go outside. A lot of people get in trouble for uh, leaving school trying to get some food. I've been included. While many people support the open lunch concept, others see a potential danger. I would love to, but at the same time, I'm kind of fearful that, you know, somebody would be rushing back and like car accidents would happen. But for the most part, yeah, I think it's a good idea. Knowing the potential dangers, our district doesn't plan on changing this policy anytime soon. This is Cisco reporting for C-Dub Media. I mean, they have a point, but I think it would be nice. Maybe with enough school spirit, we can convince them to let us do that. School spirit? We have a lot of school spirit here at the woods. You know that's right, Brendan. Oh yeah! The power of 212 is everywhere. Yep, our school raised over $2,000 just by selling braces for the pep rally for breast cancer awareness. Oh yeah, I remember that. Let's take a look at this fantastic event. <laughs> During the football season, pep rallies are the norm at Cywoods High School. I love coming to pep rallies because I feel like it's just like a time to get together and show everybody like what our school is about. Because sometimes I can get like lost within academics and just like everything being busy. It's just time for everyone to come together and just celebrate our school. Cywoods sold braces to the students and gave them money to the Susan G. Komen Foundation. This is amazing. This is awesome. Uh, we're glad to be here. Cy Woods raised approximately two thousand dollars. I think it's great that from a school this size to be getting all the revenue from things that like we enjoy and putting it to a great cause. I think this is awesome. This is Cisco Monte reporting for CW Media. Again, we want to thank everybody. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank y'all so much. Anyways, let's get on to our next story. Hector, let's start it off. Yes, so as you all may know, our city was assaulted by Mr. Harvey. And no, not Mr. Weinstein. Hector, I hope that's school appropriate. Take a look at how our district stepped in to help those affected. Hurricane Harvey had a tremendous devastating effect on the Houston area. People all over the city pitched in by helping in their own way. Cywoods High School helped by making lunches available for free for the months in September and October. Well, I think it's a great idea. Uh, people's houses got destroyed, so we need um, free lunches for people that are in need. Soon into the school year, it became evident that this policy was making a difference. I personally think it's a good idea, like helping out families who are having to pay more money to the insurance company and having to buy new furniture and didn't have flood insurance. So I think it's a really good idea, and so I fear should continue doing that. Whether or not a student was affected by Harvey, every person has benefited from this decision. I think 
it's a great thing. You know, a lot of people have been affected by this. Me, personally, I don't have any money in my account, not because of Harvey. So it's a blessing either way. I'm getting free lunch and I'm not spending money, so I think it's great. With the availability for kids to get free lunch, this allows the affected parents to pay for their damages and expenses that came along with Hurricane Harvey. A big thanks to CFISD for making free lunches available to students to get back on track. This has been Zachary Stickle with CW Media. Well, that was generous of CFISD. Right, Brandon? Yes, indeed. Do you know another humanitarian effort that happened right here at Cy Woods? The blood drive. Let's take a look. The power of the red flows today as HOSA hosted a blood drive at Cy Woods High School. Students and teachers alike are coming to donate blood in hopes of saving lives. Uh, each donation that comes from each person is capable of saving up to three lives. Um, we don't know who it's going to go to necessarily, but it's anybody who might need a blood transfusion um, or was in an accident and lost a lot of blood or has um, a disease or illness such as leukemia, things like that. So why is this event so important to this organization? I really like to the fact that so many people come here to like save lives and they're not even saving one, they're saving three all together. So that's kind of like a big motivation to like the more I can help maybe the more people that can come through. And this is just all about like giving to our community, especially after Harvey. Not only students with the organization want to help, Sidewood students would also like to give back. I think it's important for us to get out together and like show our support. This is just one little step that we can do. Once again, another example of how Sidewoods High School is giving back to the community. This has been Zachary Stickle with C-Dub Media. That takes some real courage. I know, right? I've done it before and I'm glad that I did. Okay, let's finish this off in honor of our brave veterans. Check out what the Sidewoods AFJROTC did this past Veterans Day. Every year, Cy Woods JROTC program makes a point to celebrate Veterans Day. This year, one of their events was visiting the Avanti Assisted Living Center. Even the bus driver, a veteran himself, finds ways to give back. Actually, uh, I attend several of these events. Uh, one of them is tomorrow, which I do every year, at the uh, Parsons House, uh, where I speak to the veterans, tell them my experience uh, during my time in service, and try to get them to talk among themselves because uh, it's very important for a veteran to discuss his experiences and the only person he can discuss it with is somebody that has had the same experience. The JROTC students give the veterans a little token of their appreciation by giving them awards and little medals. We want to go ahead and try and present and showcase the members that we have in Junior ROTC with the veterans that we have there at the Avanti Center because the veterans there have been through numerous amount of wars, numerous amount of conflicts. So why go to all this trouble for just a few elderly people? Because those, those boys in the ground gave their lives, their families, everything they had ever known, holy and worthwhile, so that you and I could bring free freedom. Old and young alike, an event like this will be cherished by all. This is Brandon Cabina with C-Dub Media. Well, folks, that's it for our holiday edition of the Woods Wrap-Up. This is Brandon Cabina. And I'm Hector Benitez. And this, and this is, is C-Dub Media. Media. See, See you next time. time.